and I'm going to start some of this over again because I just realized I wasn't recording it and I need to record it these days. This is Carla of the Learn English by Speaking English program. I am here to speak with you in English and like always, we are sponsored by the Institute of Peace which is an online organization supporting peace through conversation around the world. And anyone who has been watching this show knows that I speak to people from all over the world. Many are from Pakistan. Many are from other areas of the world. And it's fun and I enjoy doing it. And I need people to understand that when I am getting ready to go live, you need to wait until I am live before coming to the show. It just, there's too much going on. Austin, if you are not feeling well, you should not be here. You were very sick yesterday. And I need you to put that smile on your face. Same with Mabasher Hussain. Um, it's a little difficult doing this on my own. I don't know exactly what happened with Najish, but I'm going to unmute you, Austin. Can you please um, introduce you? Yeah, hello. Guys, it's Muhammad Hassan from Pakistan. I live in Multan. Well, first of all, I've spoken to you before about this. You need to speak slow. Okay, sorry. You need no. Don't say you're sorry. You need to just learn to do that. Okay. Now start off slower so you learn you can be understood when you're talking a different language from your language from your normal mother tongue it's a little more difficult and you need to understand that i'm not doing it to be mean i'm doing it so everyone can understand you okay hello carla hello mubashir bhai I'm Muhammad Hassan from Pakistan. I live in Multan. I am doing ICS Intermediate of Computer Science from Punjab oh, Cooper Colleges. From Punjab Cooper Colleges. Mind you, you need to be slower in your speech. Okay, go on. And it's my short intro. No, I want you to tell us more about what you're studying. There's I'm no hard intro when you're the first person. You need to talk more. Okay. Um, I'm studying in ICS first year and uh, 11th grade. Going to also and, be sharing out. And uh, I study in Punjab Kupu Colleges in Multan City. This is a city of stands and uh, near why to Muzaffarpur. Why is it a city of saints? When because, did that name? Because uh, uh, in Pakistan, uh, it, Multan is the uh, common. Multan is the um, in many in many many of the saints uh, are in Multan. Yeah, many of the saints are situated in Multan. That's why it's called a city of saints. What do you mean there's many saints in Multan? Be a little more, tell me more. I don't know anything about Multan. Okay, I, I'll tell you. Uh, and, um, first of all, I'll tell you about uh, uh, saints. What is saints? Uh, what is the saint? Tell me, in your words. In our words? It's also in Urdu. Can you ask me? No, in Urdu? you may not speak in Urdu. You 
only makes okay. you say, or you know that. Yeah, uh, it's also called a saint. People go to there and, and say a prayer and just, and then come to our our I don't know duties. what you just said. First of all, you're speaking too fast. Second of all, you need to be clearer. I asked you, what okay. is a saint? Okay. And also, if you're out there, a saint um, is a kind of where we. One moment. When I am talking, you need to listen. I've said this to you before. If you see value to this show, please do me a favor. Very nice. Other people can hear it. Um, Mubshar, maybe you and Asan can talk about saints while I'm sharing out. Okay. <laughs> and not, uh, yeah. Mubshar, before you say anything or do anything, you need to introduce yourself. Exactly. Okay. Hey, hello, Asan Bai. How are you? <clears throat> I'm Brian Mushir Bhai. How are you? Whoa! He hasn't introduced himself yet. Yes, okay, got it. Uh, this is Mubashir Hussain. I come from Pakistan. Slowly. Okay, oh, okay, got it. And I live in Lahore. I am, a, I am an English teacher. I teach in college. And uh, nowadays, uh, I, I am preparing uh, for entry test exam uh, further um, at night. I join the Come and Speak English show. And I am 26 uh, and I am married. I have two kids uh, and um, uh, leading a happy life. And how okay. old are your kids? Uh, my eldest son, uh, five years old, and uh, uh, my uh, daughter is uh, three years old. And how long have you been married? Uh, I have been married in uh, 2013, when uh, I was in graduated. Wonderful. Oh. Okay, I would like you to slowly speak, but okay. you're going to you're going to speak in English, and you're going to do it slowly. And okay. what I would like you to begin so, with, if you keep interrupting me, I cannot tell you what to do. Sure. I want you to begin with defining, giving a definition to the word saint. And if you're a watch party, the only way you can do, I gave, put the, all the directions there, but I didn't write. You need to either come to Rayhan's page and click on the link, or you need to cut and paste the link. Now, you two, I'm going to hope that you can at least speak without interrupting each other. Because I really need you to do it for a few minutes. Okay? Let's start with Asin. Asin, can you please give me a definition of the saint, of what a saint is? Okay, I'll try myself. Uh, basically, no, saint is a try. kind. Of... You will do. You cannot try to do anything. Okay, no. I'll do. Uh, basically, saint is where people go and uh, say his heart wishes. Say his heart no, wishes. Oh, a saint is a person who is alive. Can you help him, Mud Sir? Because. I thought he said that before, and that isn't correct, is it, Mubshar? Help him, please. 
uh, i think uh, she is the person who uh, he, uh, and who preach islam in pakistan i think it is a, it is a definition says is a person who teaches and preaches islam and preaches peace among the people among the society and uh, among the community and connect uh, among the society and teach them the and teach them the lesson of humanity uh, brotherhood and peace i think uh, it is the definition of, of saint a saint does not necessarily have to be muslim a lesson god is and yes. a saint doesn't necessarily have to teach about islam a saint could be from india yes a saint could be from the united states depending on their background just oh. so you know that okay yes. let's hear a little more about um waltan and the saints Do you, does that make more sense to you now, Austin? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, How does it make sense? I want to know. Uh, uh, I lived uh, when a person dies, and uh, uh, his uh, make his make. A saint still could be alive. Yeah, oh, saint could be. and we are alive and uh, which person which person uh, he, people go to the saint and uh, say his name prayer and say his name to to pray for for god and getting his name and to uh, to pray to pray to pray them okay can you getting it completely I'm going to read the de- definition of a saint to you guys in a few minutes. But no, you have the basic idea. But a saint is not a, a, only a person who um has is dead. There's saints who are still who are very much alive. Like Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. So um there are many saints who are still who are alive now yeah baba bolesha baba bolesha who baba bolesha say that slowly so i know who you're talking about i'm i'm talking about the saint of baba bolesha okay who was you, that uh he is a uh, he's the person of allah he is the closest closest person of allah okay but do you understand that a saint does not necessarily need to be a muslim yeah yeah okay. i think it to make sure you understood that because that's something new to you yeah. um okay Let I'm going to look up the de- the definition of a saint now to read to you. And uh, keep on talking as I'm doing. Uh, can I uh, give a can I give example to yeah. of the saint? Yeah. Uh, for for start Baba Bolesh Baba Bolesha uh, as the person. Uh, who is close to the allah and uh, and he will always doing his name and his doing his prayer and uh, when he died he get to uh, uh, he when he died where he died his tomb was made uh, his tomb was made there and uh, this tomb is called i think saint That's a dead. Can you give me a saint who is still alive? 
Hashir Ali and Chair Ali, I am going to remove you if I don't see you smiling. <laughs> and I mean it. Ali, Chair, you have until the count of three to put a smile on your face and keep it there. If you don't put it there, I will remove you. Okay? One, two, three. You're going in the white room. Let me know in the chat when you want to put a smile on. Okay, go on. Uh, can, I, can I hear one thing? Yeah. I said, go on. Uh, about uh, basically, I when I come to this show, and I feel like a family environment, and I'm talking with you, Carla, with uh, other guys which had not come uh, certainly, and I hope they, I, will, I hope they, are, they are coming, and uh, you, Carla, Pamela, and Hashir Bhai is again here. Hi, Ashir Bhai. And uh, other guys, uh, I feel like a family, family environment. You are like my family. That's the Thank reason. Okay. I feel very honored for you to say that. And okay. because you're family, I need to be able to say to you sometimes, you need to go rest. You need to take a time, some time. I I have to mention one more thing that now I am perfectly all right and nothing with, with nothing issue with me and perfectly all right. Okay, thank you. Now, do you want to hear a short definition? Of what is the saint from Wikipedia? It's uh, I think it's Mubashir and Mubashir by terms. No, Mubashir by. I I run the show, right? Okay. Who runs the show? Does my brother, do you run it? <laughs> I I have say I have given the example and what if I gave the definition. Okay, and now I'm giving you the de definition from Wikipedia. Okay. 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 A saint is a person who's recognized of having an exceptional <laughs> or right likeness or closeness to God. However, the use of saint depends on the context and denomination. There are different, and this is coming from me now, I'm not going to be reading it. A saint could be someone who um who is still who is alive right now i know of saints in india more than i know of the saints in pakistan because i've been in india and involved yeah. with indians for a long, a long time but the yeah. reason i'm telling you this is that you don't stop with saying Hey, he's a saint because he died. No. Or he's a saint because he's Muslim. That makes you of one saint and a saint in Pakistan or a saint in India, wherever he is, he could be Muslim. But he doesn't need to be Muslim. Yeah. Are you listening or do you want to talk? I'm listening. Okay, he can be from any area of the world. And that's something we all need to begin to realize. That it's not, a saint is not just from one country. Mother Teresa was a saint, or is a saint now. They found that, found that to be after she died. There are saints that show up when they're still alive. And they're considered saints. Okay. Um, 
Do you have okay. any questions about that? Because I have a feeling that Mubshar may have something that he wants to say and he hasn't had an opportunity yet. Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't a question. Okay, because this is a really good topic. And yeah. I'm glad that it came up. But do you want to tell me anything about the saints in Multan? Because I've never been there. What have you learned? What do you know about Multan? Tell me one thing about Multan before I move on to Mubsher. And we're getting someone from yeah. now. Uh, Multan, basically, the uh, history of Multan is that. Uh, um, many of the saints is, are there, and uh, it's a uh, famous, uh, um, famous dish is the uh, Multan. Famous dish is Son Halwa. Okay, halwa. are those names of saints? No, no, it's a, it's a dish. It's a dish. What does that have to do with saints? Okay. Uh, because saints, we're talking about saints. Rahul, okay. you may ha need to go out and restart your Zoom and come come back because we can't see you and I must need to be able to see you in order to talk. And if I remove you, I remove you for the day. So, so I'm going to put you in the white room, but I want you to go restart your Zoom and come back, okay? Did you hear me say yes or no? Did you hear me, Rahul? Okay, I'm putting you in the white room and please restart your, your um, Zoom. I do want to talk to you today, definitely. Okay. You're talking, we're talking about saints right now. What do you want to tell me about saints? Um, basically, saint is, a, you, you have said that saint is alive. We can't touch it, but we can feel his, we can feel them. We can feel his soul. That's, uh, that's do, the saint. Okay, how do you feel his soul? I feel his soul to go to the place where... Um, a heart, a heart, you know, uh, when our heart says that this is, man, this is a kind, then this is a good feeling, gut, uh, gut feeling. Okay, you said your heart feels it. What does that mean? My heart feels that uh, it's a true person. Yeah. He or it's, a person is it, an it? Hmm. Yeah, isn't it many? Because in Multan, many of the saints are there of, of the died persons. Um, Wakas Khan, if you're going to be rude to the people on here and calling them names, I am going to have to remove you from the show and ban you to the show. Please don't do that anymore. Um, Asin is a 17-year-old boy. You need to be polite. Rahul, please come back. Um, but restart your Zoom before you come back. Okay, I have been speaking to you for a while. Let me move on. Um, okay. A saint doesn't need to be dead. A saint can be a woman. A saint when or a child, and I have to go on. Uh, I have to say to Avas that please, Avas brother, you have to say it. You have to speak in English. Please say it wrong. We we can't discourage you. We encourage you. I am here for you. I am Carla is here for you. Pamela is not in not here, but uh, I hope she will come. She, she will won't come be here today. Early. Why? What? Why he, she he would come here? 
Because she has other things to do. She can't come every day. Okay. We'll be back. I understand. She'll probably so, be uh, here Sunday and Wednesday from now for a while. Okay. So, as brother, I just said to you, please speak in English, speak in English as you, speak in English as you can, and it's right. my advice to you. And Very nice we all, advice. we we all encourage you. We 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 never discourage you. We all encourage you. Very true. I'm going to move on now. And okay. if you need to write to a base, you can. But um, <laughs> I need to move on. I like how you encourage okay. them. Thank you. Okay, Mustar, you. you're already unmuted. What do you know about a saint? Oh, uh, <clears throat> thanks, Carla. I am already told you that. Uh, I think uh, saint is the person uh, who teach or preach uh, the peace and uh, uh, who connects the humanity uh, with brotherhood and uh, who works for the betterment of humanity. Uh, I think it is no exaggeration to say that you and Rehan Allah Wala is uh, uh, also like a saint. <laughs> No, no, we're not saints at all, believe me. <laughs> it's no, nice man. that you say that, but let's be, reality is we're not saints. And Marcus Khan, <laughs> your apology is accepted. I can't type in for some weird reason. But thank um, you. Why do you say we're saints? Uh, you uh, you work uh, for the welfare of the people. That's why I called it. <laughs> and people can work for the welfare of people and not be a saint. I don't okay. think that when I leave this planet, people will be saying Carla Bridgman is a saint. <laughs> they may say Carla Bridgman had a big mouth. That's true, but a saint, nah. <laughs> That's Hello. They had, but not me. <laughs> okay. Uh, in our area, uh, so, yes. Can uh, you we, give me an example of a saint, Hernan? You need to wait until you are unmuted. I will speak with you, okay? Okay. Everyone gets their turn. What What else do you know of any saints that you would like me like to speak about? And also, I cannot bring anyone on the call. You need to download Zoom and come in through the GiggleFest University link that I will post again. Okay. Yeah. What, do you know any other saints or someone in your someone in Pakistan who you would consider a saint? And don't say Rayhan or me. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, we have one saint, but uh, he's no more. Maybe you know uh, he's the Shakespeare of Punjabi language. Uh, it is said that he is the Shakespeare of the Punjabi language and uh, its name uh, Varish Shah, Varish Shah, uh, who wrote uh, the Hiranja. Hiranja, uh, who wrote the Hiranja, and we have shrine our tomb in our area. Uh, area name is Jandiala Sherha. Uh, it, uh, it is said that he is the Shakespeare of Punjabi language, but he is no more. Oh, so he died. When did he die? Uh, I think uh, uh, the 15th century or 16th century. Uh, I'm not sure about the uh, date. Is he considered a saint 
in Pakistan? Yes, yes, he's considered. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for, is he one of your favorite sa saints? Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> but uh, uh, I didn't study uh, her poetry. Uh, but uh, it's uh, 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 he, uh, uh, it's book uh, her, uh, his book his uh, Warisha uh, it has the value of international it is the international uh, value of uh, his book okay yeah thank you so <laughs> very much do you, you see there's other people here now and I need to yes. So all of them before I can close the show. Can I move on sure. now? Yes, yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, you. Thank you. I'm going to mute you. Okay. Hashir Ali, I believe you were next, and I don't see you smiling. A base. I am going to throw you out if you don't smile. Hi, Hashir. And Ernan, one of the f things you must do when you come here is smile. If you don't smile, I will throw you away. Okay, Hashir, could you please do me a favor and introduce yourself? Yes. Uh, thank you so very much. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Hashir Ali, and I'm just I'm 23 years Slowly. old right now. Hello. Speak slowly so everyone oh. can understand you. Please. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I am Ashir Ali. Uh, I'm 23 years old. I'm a software engineer. Uh, uh, as a programmer, I'm doing my job. Uh, I live in Karachi, Pakistan. That's it. And where did you find the show? Um, actually, uh, I found the show on uh, Rehan and Nawala's uh, page. Actually. I'm waiting for someone to come in and say they found it on my page. No one has ever done that yet. But I always share it out and they always say, oh, I found it on Rehan's page. You know? And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Okay, can you define a saint for me and tell me what, give me an example of a saint. Uh, I guess <laughs> as a uh, person from Karachi, uh, uh, we don't have Tom really in Karachi, any, any Tom, uh, any of the saint uh, Tom here in Karachi. Uh, but uh, besides well, Karachi, uh, near to Hyderabad uh, and well, Tata, there are some saints and uh, Let, regard. Well, stop for a moment. The first question I ask is define the word saint. I don't care okay. if you have any in Karachi. We don't okay. have them in Washington, D.C., as far as I can tell. What is a saint? Okay. Uh, so I guess saint is a person uh, who is recognized by his, uh, uh, I guess some, uh, who is a person who, who act as a, um, like you can say, uh, a person who has a connection with God and who reowned uh, by this particular uh, quality to others. Okay, give me an example of a saint. I guess uh, I, I don't uh, even know. I don't even know any uh, of the example. Okay, how did you know? You gave a really good definition of a saint. Where did you get that definition? Uh, I, I heard uh, the definition which you told us earlier in this show. <laughs> and uh, actually, I, I uh, recognize that was true. 
Um, okay, you recognize that it was true. Can you give me an idea? Of, now that you recognize that is true, you must have known of a saint. Tell me of a saint that you know about. Uh, I just heard some saints like uh, as Asan said, uh, Baba Pulesha, I guess I heard that name earlier, but I don't know him. Um, and uh, some others, uh, I don't know their name, but uh, I know they uh, their tombs are in uh, like uh, near to Karachi, to Hyderabad and Thatta. These places okay. have some saint, but I really don't know their names. Okay. Have you ever been interested in visiting a saint? Mm, no, not so. Not so. Why? Uh, Habibullah, why? you better put a smile on your face or you're going to be thrown out. Go on. It's just like... Uh, uh, I guess I'm not uh, very in like interested in visiting the tombs just to uh, uh, just to uh, visit for a uh, uh, for the sake of no reason. Uh, if I have to go for uh, uh, some like uh, as we can say as a Muslim uh, Fatiha for a Fatiha, then it can be. Uh, it can be quite comfortable with me, but other than that, I don't like to go there to these places. Okay. Are there any saints that who you have read about, maybe even the Prophet Muhammad? Yes, definitely. Does that, does that interest you? Definitely. Of course, he is our Prophet. Okay, so you would consider Muhammad a saint, am I correct? Yes, definitely. Okay. One of the most biased, uh, I guess, saints, you can say. Why do you say bias? Because uh, 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 it's just that his actions and his beliefs and his teachings let oh. us know uh, how beautiful a person he is. Okay. Any other questions? Any other about a saint? Oh, sorry. Is there anything else you want to tell me about a saint? Mm, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Is there anything else you want to tell me today? Uh, yeah, just one thing. Uh, when, okay, uh, your English is very good today, by the way. Go on. Okay, <laughs> it's a pleasure for me. Thank you so very much. So, uh, so one time, uh, could you please uh, stop him, please? My, my name is, my name Excuse is. Excuse me, Hernan, I told you when I get to you, I will unmute you. If you're determined to mute on yourself, Hello. I will need to wait. Hello? You need to wait. I'm sorry, Hello? next time you will unmute yourself, Hello? I will remove you. I'm ready to do it. Okay, back to you, Hatshaya. Uh, so, uh, I just want to share just, just a uh, single tip uh, for all of us, uh, that uh, I I heard one once uh, that if you think in English, you can speak in English, because uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when we uh, talk uh, in uh, Urdu, uh, we first think in Urdu, and just we can say uh, very quickly that we can't even think for a moment what we want to say. And same goes for the English, I guess. And same goes for all the languages right. we want to learn. But it takes time to be yes. able to do that. Yes, it takes Don't time. Don't think that because I spoke in English one day, I can do it the next day. You can. 
but you need to work on your confidence in order to do it. Yes, definitely. And uh, it takes I, time. Yes, it takes time. I remember when I came uh, uh, to this show for the first time, I was like <laughs> screaming very great. And then uh, for the second time and then for the third time, it gets better uh, for the, every time I came here. And I'm very proud of you, how you're doing. So just I, keep on coming back and speaking. It's a pleasure for us that you arrange such a webinar for all of us uh, to get their self improve in, uh, in, a, in a language uh, which uh, don't, uh, I guess, uh, which is not our mother language. And it's a pleasure for us. Well, we need to thank Rehan Awawa for talking me into doing it. But number two, um, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy talking to you. But you need to understand that I'm limited in time. So if you want more time from me, you need to come to GiggleFest University and take a course there because I need to do, I'm supposed to be off in an hour and I never am. But I need to limit my time here to everyone. So, you know, think about it. If you want more time, Gigglefest University is your place to go. Yeah, sure. You get a little more time with me. The group uh, will be smaller. Yes, yes. Can you elaborate a little bit about uh, that course which you are offering on Gigglefest University regarding this conversation? What do you mean? Like, uh, uh, can you elaborate it more that uh, what kind of uh, 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 like activities we can perform at uh, the course which you are oh, offering? Oh, Google Fest University? Yeah, you that's can it. You do more talking. You can ask me about vocabulary. You can do what you, basically what you want. The groups will be limited to two to three people and they're basically half an hour to an hour at a time. But they're not free. This is all free. Yes, yes, I know. I knew that. I knew that. That's why I'm asking uh, what kind of benefits we get from that course other than this conversation. Yeah, you get more time. You get more of your questions answered. Um, and I do what I need to for you in order for, to help you grow. And uh, one of the requirements uh, is to come to this show once a week. But you get me at least twice a week in that group. Okay, I got I really got it. Yeah, that's the big difference. Okay. But it's basically what we do here but more more of it and i am going to have to lock the room very very soon adnan Gareth, you need to turn get your video working because it's not working now and i can't keep you here if it's not working And Rizwan, please start your video. And I am going to lock the room now because we're going to be way over time at this point. So I'm not going to be allowing any more people in today. Hi, Rizwan. Hi. Muhammad Adnan, you need to restart your Zoom. I will unlock the room so you can go out, do that, and come back. But I won't be allowing other people in. I'm going to put you in the white room. Okay, you're all in. Okay. Um, Hashir, I need to move on. Okay, okay. Alex? You can move on, sure. Thank you so very much. You're very welcome.
Check out GiggleFestUniversity.com. Aves, I'm not going to give you a long time, but you need to speak. What do you, Aves, first, you need to introduce yourself. Hi, this is Aves. I am from Faisalabad, Pakistan. I am a student of second year. Uh, I am doing ICS in Punjab College. I am a graphic designer and uh, I am also a hockey player. Very good. Now, can you tell me what a saint is? Sorry? What is a saint? Hi, Nora. What is a saint? Saint. What is a saint? Do you know? Have you been listening, Avais? Yes. Okay. What have you learned from listening? What is a saint? You can do it, just simply. Who would you consider a saint to be? A vase. Give me an example of a saint. Search. Okay, a vase. Tell me what you did today, and then I'm going to move on. What did you do? Come on, you can do it. Did you get up and have breakfast? A base, did you eat your break breakfast today? Yes. What did you eat for breakfast? Uh, today I am eating chicken. Uh -huh. Okay, you ate, did you eat chicken for breakfast? No, any lunch. What did you Hello? eat for breakfast? Excuse me. Bread and tea. Ernan, I'm sorry. I've asked you not to unmute yourself and you keep on doing it. I'm doing my best not to put you in, take you out of the webinar. You do it again and I'm removing you. You are being unfair to other people. Okay, what did you eat today? Tell me something you ate. Bread and pea. And peas? Pea. Okay, was it good? Was did you like Sorry? eating it, Abase? Yes. Okay. Did you go to school today? Yes, I am going to my college. Today. And what did you learn and what did you study? Tell me one thing you studied in school today. Uh, in in my computer class, I am studying uh, C language today. Did you it's a per programming language. Did you like doing it? Yeah, I am interested in. Very good. Thank you. Do you want to tell me anything else? One topic, but uh, I can't tell you tomorrow. 
Sure. Now, one more thing I want you to tell me before I put you away, put you out. I mute you. Tell me one more thing that you did today. Mm. One more thing. One I more thing. Going. Today I. Going hockey I today? Yes, I am going to play hockey today. And uh, I am. I, I manipulate two picks in Photoshop. Very good. So you had a good day, right? Yes. Okay, can I move forward now? Okay, go on. Thank you. Go, go, go. Thank you for coming. Okay, I don't know who came that. I think it was Habib. Habib, you're having trouble smiling today, and I don't know why, but first you need to introduce yourself. Uh, hello, everybody. I am Habib from Lahore. Uh, I, am, uh, I am web designer and developer. I provide solutions for web. Uh, and uh, I am also a student of uh, Carla Richman and Behana Lawala and uh, I want to be an entrepreneur uh, and uh, to be successful and that's all. Okay, and what do you want to do you for your business? Excuse me, your man? I'm I'm sorry. I have to remove you. You may not come back today. Come back tomorrow, please. I'm getting tired of asking you the same thing. You're not fair to anyone else. Goodbye. And Rizwan, you need to smile too. So what else do you want to... Can you tell me what a saint is? Yes, uh, a person who is spiritually powerful and uh, he is away from the sins and the, all bad things. Whoa, and, uh, I need you to do one thing. You need to talk louder and you need to talk slower because uh, I am having trouble understanding you. Really? I yes. don't believe, I Carla. I can't hear you. Um, Ali G, please don't do that today. Thank you. Go on. A saint and is a spirit. On, put on your smile now, or I'm going to remove you. Go on. Carla, a saint is a person who is spiritually powerful, uh, and uh, Spiritually, sorry, spiritually strong, and uh, uh, he Why is a very spiritually strong. Why do you say that? Um, I think this is a good word for that. Uh, being able strong. No, I wouldn't say that. Definitely, that for sure. Okay, okay, and. Uh, he is away from all the sins and uh, he is a pious man and uh, works for the peace and uh, uh, good for all. And uh, that's about a saint. And uh, there are many people who are doing this today. And uh, in the history, there are also many people who did this. Uh, uh, this is just uh, an example you may think of a pastor uh, who works in the church and uh, uh, he does all the good things for himself and all other uh, people and the community around him. 
Okay, can you tell me someone that who you think is a saint? Uh, yes, there are uh, many people uh, just like uh, the followers, the very good followers of Jesus and uh, the followers of uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him. And there are many uh, great people in the history. Followers I cannot are not of, saints. Most of them are, are no. the same. Not, not, each not each and every follower of uh, Jesus is a uh, was uh, a saint, but most of them were so. And so, as uh, the followers of Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, there are many people you have heard about uh, uh, Hazrat Umar, uh, who was uh, uh, Khalifa. Of Muslims, second caliph of uh, Islamic history. Okay, but I wouldn't consider myself a saint, and I follow saints. I wouldn't consider. Please, I'm going to use the name of someone here, but anyone that I know here are not people who <coughs> are saints yet. A saint right. is someone who's a really powerful teacher who changes li lives. I wouldn't call uh, everyone a saint. You are right, but in this uh, materialistic life, uh, most of the people are doing too much good, but they are not recognized right now. They are recognized after their lives. And then uh, the, uh, most of the people, uh, we have heard uh, the Bullish Shah who wrote the Heer, uh, Heer Ranja. His... Sorry, so uh, Varsha. He was Varsha. Yes, he was also a saint. And uh, Baba Bullish Shah, he was a great uh, person and was a saint. He was not recognized in his uh, life. He was recognized uh, after his life that he was a great saint and uh, he worked for the peace and the uh, goodness of uh, many people. And one of the person I know in the uh, era of Jesus, uh, Hatam, uh, I think his name was Hatam. Uh, Hatam was a saint at that time. And uh, at that time, people did not... Uh, recognize him. They all blame him for many things at that time. But the history uh, proved that they are, they were the great persons and uh, were saints. But they're not necessarily saints. You're giving people sainthood who may not necessarily be a saint. Um, I think Hatim was a saint. He was a very uh, great person. And uh, he worked for too many uh, people and he changed many lives. He told the uh, mankind to be uh, generous for everybody. Even he is uh, your friend or not. He is uh, your relative or not, and any uh, other relation is uh, uh, is uh, there a relation with person or not? You must be generous with everybody. Just like we all are smiling here, this passing smile is a generosity, uh, one of its kind. So all the good deeds and uh, uh, good works. Uh, for the generosity, uh, I think uh, a saint can do this. I read uh, an incident about Hatim that once he was uh, trying to escape from the um, king to save his life because the king was uh, very uh, king was very unhappy due to the 
due to due to the due to the name big name of hatim and uh, he escaped, escaped into a well there was uh, a person who was uh, praying to god that if hatim uh, would be in my hand i could bring him to the king and get the money and hatim came out and uh, uh, offered himself to that person to get uh, the money from the king uh, to minimize his obstacles and uh, difficulties of life and this is a very uh, uh, big thing for the people and uh, i am very uh, glad to hear about his generosity uh, stories of generosity this is amazing and i believe that he was a saint uh, a common man cannot Habib, do happy i need to stop yes. you there are other people who need to speak i okay. we can continue this conversation tomorrow but i need to get to everyone and we're already over time but okay. saints are not necessarily not everyone is a saint and what i want you to do is look up the meaning of a saint because not everyone's a saint there are people okay. who are very good people but they may not be a saint so i want you to look up that meaning before i see you again okay okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Rizwan, I'm about to um get rid of you. And do you know why? The new rule and you haven't been here since I set it up is that you need to smile. And you have yeah. been looking like this for most of the show the only yeah, reason I, I kept you in was i kept on saying please smile we smile and i thought you were going to yeah sorry i was busy with my kids that's why i was just uh, seeing around this like this are, no, they being, are your kids being naughty <laughs> yes some extent <laughs> what first of all introduce yourself yeah hi guys uh, i am rizwan ashraf uh, living in uh, muscat oman muscat near dubai and uh, i am working in the uh, banking sector last 13 year as a quality consultant and looking after all uh, standards quality management system over there and uh, this is all about me and now i'm in kerala show and when carla start uh, her show like it is carla from giggle fest pebble university then my kids laugh too much <laughs> that's fine they should laugh how old yeah, they, is yeah. it yeah 10 year 10 year 8 year and uh, 13 year why do they not come to the show for the for people under 20 one day they came na one day they came in your show and after this they say okay we'll because they were they are busy in studies and they say when we have a time then we'll come i want to say hello to each of them right now right now come right now yes hi carla my name is mohammed ibrahim and why don't you come to the sunday show i'm too busy in studies because all the days i have test but you That's need fine. a break from study you shouldn't be studying 24 hours 7 days a week you need to take a break i want to oh. see you this sunday okay will you promise me you'll come not promise but I want to promise. Okay, promise.
I will see you this Sunday. Okay, fine. Okay, let me talk to the next child. Oh, how old are you? I am 10 years old. You're 10, 10 years, years old. old. Okay. You're the youngest, right? No. Yeah. No second year. Elder. Elder. You're the oldest. Yeah. But okay. my sister is eldest than me. Okay. Where's your where's your daughter? She's there coming. They normally say uh, when Carla start her program, why she called it is Carla? Why uh, Carla not say this is Carla or I am Carla? They say because like I this. say it's Carla here. No, you say it is Carla. They say why uh, Carla use it? It is using for small things. It can be used. Carla, Umar is taking bath. Okay, where's the next child? They are, uh, she's busy in study, she just told me. Okay. Only I am free. Time on Sunday, I want to see all three of them. Okay? Okay. 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 Done. And quickly tell me, what is a saint, Rizwan? Yes, saint is a person who is close to the God, near to the God. Okay. This is the this is the definition of saint, in irrespective to religion. In uh, some saints, some saints in Islam, some saints in Judaism, some saints comes in uh, Christianity, uh, Christians, and in any any region there are saints are there because they are close to God, and people love them because they don't have an interest in uh, worldly things. They just uh, uh, having a good relationship with God, and uh, they are they are not committing any sin, and uh, every time they are appraising to God. And uh, in if you talk about the Pakistan, there is so many saints came in like Baba Bulle Shah, Waris Shah, Hak Bau, and uh, um, but uh, Muhammad Bakh something. Maybe I'm uh, wrong and right. I don't know. So many saints uh, came in in, uh, in Pakistan, and they they deliver their message. They they deliver the God message. I mean, they they uh, they send a message to uh, whatever the God said. They just deliver the message to these people uh, to accept the God will. Whatever you have the circumstance uh, circumstances, you accept the will of God. And then so that people love them uh, due to their soft nature and there is a, you can say, spiritual uh, message. That's why they are very famous in, in common people. Very good. Thank you for your good definition. Thank you for coming. Can I Welcome. move on because I have two more people I must speak to and I actually need to be off of here in 10 minutes at the most. Okay, sure. Sure, you can move on. Thank you, Wizron. You don't need to go anywhere. I'm just going to meet you. Okay, Nora, the only girl who came today. Thank you for coming. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. What about you? I am good. Could you please introduce yourself? Uh, well, I'm Nora and uh, I'm a business graduate. Uh, and right now, I'm not working. I'm on break. I'm not doing anything. I'm just staying at home, um, passing my time. Exploring different opportunities. Quite confused right now whether want to I want to start my something of my own or whether I should do some job. I need to clear some things in my life. So sorting things out right now. And where do you live, Nora? In Lahore, Lahore. Oh, so Lahore, you're Pakistani. 
I don't know why I didn't think you were Pakistani, but um, are you married? Yeah, I'm Muslim. Are you? Yes, I am married. Do you have kids? Do you do. have any kids? Yes, I do have one baby boy. He's uh, 14 months old. Oh my gosh. Is he a good guy? He is the naughtiest person alive. <laughs> so would you consider him a saint? Um, well, my definition of saint is, uh, it's, it's quite different. It's like, you know, a saint is a person, the, in spite of having no opportunity to commit crime or any sin, doesn't do that. That person is saint for me. And uh, like, saint is a characteristic for me. Like, uh, many persons can acquire it. But in today's era, I, I'm not able to see anybody, you know, acquiring that characteristic. Like, I could not call anybody, like, he's a saint. Uh, like, in spite of having an opportunity to commit any crime or sin, you don't do it, then you are a saint. But in today's era, it's very hard to find. And my baby is, you know, <laughs> he doesn't know these things. He's too innocent, too pure for these things. So how could I consider him as a saint? But he's a baby still. Yeah, he could be. I'll try my best that he'll be a one. Very good. I hate to do this, but I really need to move on. But will you come back and talk to me another time? I will try my best. And you know that I have a program just for women only, right? Yes, you told me before as well, but you didn't add me that in that group. You, you told you me didn't. that you're going to add me in that group, but you didn't. I told you that you need to ask to join. I don't add people. Only people who ask to join. I'll uh -huh. send you... Yeah, and I didn't know but where to send finally. you a link. But I'll put in the name. The name is Speak English Women Only. Okay. Just ask to join. Um, there's reasons why I just don't add people. But if you join, you ask to join Speak English Women Only, I will add you. I will okay, not I will, add I will, you I will, I can join. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned it before, I remember. Yeah, I remember too. I'll put it, the name in here. And just copy it from here and you'll find it on Facebook. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was wondering what happened to you. Yeah, I was wondering too. But see, I found you today. Well, you should come any day. You're allowed. I'm tired of yes, always yes, talking I to I will. men. I mean, I like talking to men. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me move on to Allie G because I really, really need to be off and we're almost a half hour late now. I guess I like to talk too much. <laughs> okay, Allie G. Please introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ali Raza, but uh, my real name is Ali Raza. I have a nickname is Ali G because people call me Ali G. I don't know why they call me, but they do. So I, I live in Karachi, Pakistan, and uh, I have a YouTube channel recently because of I have an influence to Riyan Allahwala. So I thought I don't misuse it. So I'm using it for book review and uh, make people to 
aware of it uh, how to stop uh, worrying so these kind of thing i'm doing it uh, although it's in, it's in urdu so those, those of you are looking for me so they can search it on youtube or facebook page but today i came very late karla i'm sorry and i have seen so many good people today and most uh, i'm very happy to see nora uh, female for pakistan all of the chat i have joined there 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 was no women for pakistan so i'm ha- very happy for that and uh, i don't know the topic you were talking about the scent the yeah scent. we were talking about saints but we we have gotten off topic so did you do you don't want to listen to my opinion about scent yeah and then i need to go but <laughs> tell me what, what who you think is a saint well i don't have such knowledge about saint but whatever i read in a book so one of the saint which is uh, influenced by the jesus saint paul who the who the contemporary who i guess who written the all of the bible after that jesus he he spread the all of the things for the guys for the for the people of christians and uh, i don't know such thing i just pick up the book with the very good book which is written here <laughs> and uh, in urdu we call saint is like darvish darvish is kind of person who live eat and do everything for for god he does not want to live in this world and he always live like a god uh, i have read the romi story Romi is you can say is a saint he is all the day he is talk about saint talk about uh, god so one person who always try to make people heart pure and think about god i guess these guys are saint that's what i my opinion is very good great um definition can you tell me one more thing who was a saint give me an example of a saint saint tell me someone you think is a saint in your mind uh someone whose heart is pure who speak for oh, his heart oh no give me a name of someone who is a saint i guess romi molana romi okay I'll accept that. And with that, people, I really need <laughs> to close the show. I hate to do it, but I'm going to. I will be back tomorrow. The show, as always, is sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization creating peace one conversation at a time. I want to thank everyone who came to speak with me. You can see the replay. I'll be uploading it into my YouTube channel, Giggle Fest University, and also on to my website, Giggle Fest University. And with that, I'll be back at 9.30 p.m. tomorrow, Pakistan time. 12:30 p.m. New York time I'm going to wave goodbye and I again thank you everyone for coming and